all right guys all right so one problem i have with dragon ball legends is this shitty daily login bonus like it's been five months into the games i spend and we still have the same login bonus since the game started all right so let's look at these options right now we got 10 corner crystals means nothing 250 zenny we can get that in one adventure 10 skip tickets eh, that's kinda kinda okay all right we got 10 of these why why are these chain items even in here like who selects these chaining items nobody we can farm these from the story we do not need them in the login bonus all right we have gravity fuel and we don't need that we have one one adventure so you're telling me you're giving me one adventure when i can go into pvp forfeit a match and get more than this all right then they're gonna give us 50 frost souls um z power <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we have a scout battle that gives us more than this we have adventures that will give us more than this we do not need any of these right here because we can get them in the game for free okay we do not need any of these all right what i like them to do is on certain days they like give us some old spz power or something or at least give us more than what we're getting right now give us like 20 cc or, or even 50 cc or something something that's better than 10 because 10 can do anything okay don't give us zenny we already have that replace that with something else um give us more skip tickets give us something i don't know but they have to change this worthless ass daily login bonus all right you, you remember those events that we had back in the day that gave us the special day logging bonus that should be the regular logging all right guys so another gripe with this game is the freaking pvp now i'm gonna break it into five categories the pvp into five subcategories which are the first one is exchange shop okay rare metals Alright, so you got Vegeta's battle suit, mm, an outdated SP, heroes that no one uses, um, this that no one uses, 30,000 and no one uses this. Um, Alright, so basically, the shop is full of nothing. Basically, the shop is full of nothing, okay? Bandai needs to come up with the Z metal shop to replace this shop because no one is buying this Goku that's E tier. No one's buying the vegeta or tier which are f j tier no no one is using heroes we get we get everything here in the game for free and more okay we don't need to buy any of this okay everything in the shop is completely useless and by that needs to change it all right next point in pvp is the matchmaking the matchmaking is so fucked in this game okay so here has a mat here is how the matchmaking works from rank 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 now from 0 to 40 you don't really notice anything much but when you reach from to in the 40 to 50 range that's when the whole thing is completely effed up so why do i uh, why why me which is a rank 50 just hypothetically me a rank 50 facing someone that's a rank 40 should the highest tier in the game be its own tier that's the first mistake band that dims needs to make br50 
Battle Royale 50 its own tier so that Battle Royale 50 players only fight Battle Royale 50 players okay then why why do why someone like me who has over from 2 to 5k more points than my opponent have to fight them for legit nothing I'm not getting anything of value from fighting them or like 1 point, 2 point, 3 points and if I lose <laughs> this is where the next point comes in the double rp loss is stupid okay if i lose to a rank 40 to 43 or something like that and i'm rank 50 oh you best believe i'm losing over 100 points okay and do you know what's the worst part i'm losing those 100 and add points like 100 to 160 and is it gonna take me 10 to 30 matches to get back all those points that i've lost so, I lose one match and I have to play 10 to 30 more matches to get back the ranking points that I just lost. And then I'm going to have to grind even more to catch up the people that are ahead of me. Like, that does not make any sense. They're just screwing over the legit players in this game. Then, next point, if I go to the ranking section of this game this game nearly all of these players are cheaters like <laughs> we've had cheaters since june okay since june and it's now in october and we have we have had cheaters in every single season of pvp we've had 11 seasons and two pre-seasons and we fight cheaters in all of them. Like, how do you have a PvP based game and have cheaters filling up the leaderboards? Like, now it wouldn't be so bad, okay, if, ba if Dims banned these players, but <laughs> they just reset their RP, which does nothing because they can just come back and cheat again even more, okay? They don't ban you, they don't, they just. Reset your RP and say, oh, that's fine. No, that's why they keep coming back. You have to start banning them, Dims. Ban the cheaters. Okay, why give them a second chance to cheat again? It just makes no sense. Like, <laughs> and the worst part is, there are some cheaters that they don't even catch. How can, you're making the cheaters outsmart your system. That's how stupid your system is okay okay take this as an example this guy named Lickdom, right L L let's see if i can find him in here let's see if i can find this Lickdom dude in here <laughs> now this Lickdom dude is famous okay you want to know why three to five seasons he has cheated <laughs> he's cheated from either three to five seasons straight and no ranking point reset or ban <laughs> so you're telling me <laughs> one guy outsmarts your entire system for three to five pvp seasons <laughs> the lickdom is the goat cheater in this game okay if there was ever a trophy for the best cheater in Dragon Ball Legends, Lickdom is the greatest cheater this game has ever seen. Okay? That dude outsmar outsmarted an entire company. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Now this is taking forever. Can I please back out of this? Like, um game okay let's pause this all right so i'm back okay now <laughs> this is Lickdom. okay he started okay he first season he cheated second the second time the third time and the fourth time like how do you cheat four seasons in a row and not get your ranking points reset them system is stupid okay they need to overhaul the entire pvp system and fix matchmaking 
take out the RP loss and get rid of all the cheaters, find some way, I don't know how, but find some way to take them out of this game. Because this game cannot prosper if cheaters are in this game running rampant in PvP. Now the next point in PvP. <laughs> the season reward list. Now. I gotta clap. I gotta clap them. They somehow fucked up a good thing. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. So. You're telling me. That. From rank 2. To rank 10,000. We get the same amount. Of in-game currency. Wait. Nani? So, hmm. yeah. now people are gonna say, oh, we get more medals. Yeah, you get more medals to use in a shop that has no use. So this right here, everything right here, means nothing. Now, players in the top, players above here do not need these tickets. Okay? The tickets that this banner is used on is complete garbage to players that can reach this level. Because if you reach this level, then you do not need the units in that banner. Because over half of the units in that banner are power crept. They are complete shit obsolete in this meta. So these tickets are worthless. Now, everybody is saying, oh, this, this is good. All of, we get more currency, yeah. But what's the incentive to reach here when I can just sit back here and get the same thing? So they they keep on promoting casual play and they keep shafting the grinders of PvP. Like what is the point of grinding here when I can do one quarter of the time or even less of the time you take to reach here? Get here and get the same stuff as you. <laughs> okay, so the reward distribution needs to be changed in some way because players up here deserve more. Okay, you deserve more for your time. Okay, you don't deserve more for less of your time. That makes no sense. It's like it's like you're going. It's like you're in a race. Okay, you know, first place gets the medal. Second place gets silver medal. Basically, the second place, the tenth place in a race gets the same silver medal. That's basically what this is saying right here. So it's it's legit stupid the reward distribution in this game. Mm. Now my last point is lag switchers. Now some people think that lag switchers aren't real. Let me tell you, they are real. Okay. My Wi-Fi <laughs> kinda sucks. Okay, and it has random spikes where the ping just shoots up or whatever and the game just lags. There is proof in the Discord that when I play matches with some guys in the Discord, the match goes fine for, for the first few minutes or a few seconds, then lag comes. It has happened, okay? Not intentional, but it is real. You can throttle your ping so that you can lag the game whenever you want. That is ridiculous, okay? They need, Dims needs to overhaul this PvP system, like, take up PvP for a week, okay? And completely change it, everything. Change the rank, the amount of RP you get, the double RP loss, the matchmaking, the shop, the cheaters, please, Dims, please. Please, Dims. Please, I'm begging you. Fix PvP okay it's just not worth it and pvp is the only shit to do in this game that's the worst part okay next up no content this game has no content this this is not content okay this can be done in one to three hours or one to two hours and it's easy. The content is easy. You can legit auto play it and win. Okay. This we've we the, we've done this already. See complete 
complete. We this is not content. The story is not content either. The story is just for um the excitement of each new chapter or whatever that people read. That's the only thing they get from a story. They don't do story for the content. They they do it to see the cutscenes and shit. There is no content in this game since August. Okay. August was the last time we had good content in this game. I mean, I mean, I mean July, when the summer event happened. That's the last time we had good content. Now all we have is just PvP, 24 civil. Yeah, yeah, guys. Let's just play PvP for an entire month straight, guys. Nothing else but PvP. Yay, PvP forever. Okay. So, PvP is fucked. This game has no content. Now, the next thing. The insane power creep in this game is ridiculous. Okay, now let's go to character list. Alright, so. So, we'll go to filter. Sparkins. Alright, so these are the sparkins that are in the game currently. Alright, so. Alright, so. Three quarter of these sparkins are obsolete. Then they're not really obsolete, but they're they're getting overshadowed too quickly. Alright. You see this guy, this guy, chunks. And Goten and SSJ2 Gohan have power crept the game. Okay. Saiyans went from the best, one of the best teams in the game to one of the worst teams in the game right now. Okay. It goes Frieza, it goes Frieza Force, Regen, Saiyans, Androids, and Hybrids. Saiyans can't deal with the Hybrids or Androids. Okay, they can't, they just cannot deal with them. Alright. And Majin Buu is coming out soon. So he's gonna increase the region team above Saiyans. Because he, Bardock has a main ability. Show details. Bardock has a main ability where... He, he restricts your switching for a period of time. <laughs> so you think that the most broken ability in the game couldn't get even more couldn't even get more ridiculous, right? Majin Buu is coming out with Bardock's main ability as a unique ability. Bardock was feared for his um his trap. He traps you and then kills you. But nah. But oh, Majin Buu. Let's give him Bardock's main ability as a unique. So in essence, we're gonna power creep Bardock. <laughs> Ten out of that. That is so ridiculous. Alright. <laughs> and hybrids. Don't let me. Don't even get me started on hybrids. Okay. These little shits can one combo your characters okay goten can legit kill anybody in in neutral game he legit can kill every single sp that doesn't have type advantage on him right now and end game ssj2 gohan can kill his type disadvantage so you got Goten, OP as fuck, in the first part of the game. Then you got Chunks, that's OP throughout the game. Then you got SSA2 Gohan, that's f that's ridiculous at end game. So no matter what, you're gonna one combo or three quarter your opponent's HP with these guys, and it's so ridiculous. Like if you make a mistake against hybrids. If you get your RR counter that gets hybrid, just know that you lost. Okay? I'm gonna play a clip 
of two scenarios where hybrids are just completely stupid. I got type advantage. I can't lose. I got type advantage. I can tank all his hits. <laughs> that won't kill. It's type advantage, right? Isn't it? Uh huh. Type advantage minus fifty percent. Oh, what? Did the did the game just? Bruh. Yeah, Rising Rush, I got this. All right, let's be blessed. All right, we got this, man. We got this. All right, he can't. Hide it. No problem, though. I can tank this. My Vegeta is fully soul boosted. Um. Bruh. Wait. Okay, it's like this is the power creep in this game is so ridiculous right now. Like, <laughs> um, and it's only gonna get worse. Okay, hybrids, the best Saiyan team in the game can't t handle hybrids. Like, it's only going to get worse. Go tanks just got revealed couple days ago and you know he's gonna be on the hybrid team which makes it even more power creep like <laughs> this game this game's power creep is honestly ridiculous it's fucked it's gonna kill the game Dames needs to listen to our feedback okay and now the last point I want to make if you're going to if 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 you're a DBL player, okay, you're either on one side or the next side, okay. You're either sidestep or you're anti sidestep. Now, let's read this shit. In Dragon Ball Legends, Art's moves can be cancelled. By swapping among other controls and high level combos can be created by skilled players. Okay. The game controls known among as sidestep and dash step were designed to give players the ability to cancel the immobility after activities check out your blast arts with a step or boost dash. It has come to our attention, however, that sidestep and dash step provide too much of an advantage for casual players so we we want to make casual players stay so we're going to take out sidestep so the skilled players can be like the casual players that's essentially what's the, what they're saying okay the, <laughs> this is so fucked because sidestep is one of the defensive mechanics in this game okay without sidestep you're going to get fucked by hybrids, by power creep, you can, you cannot trade combos with hybrids, or or androids, I think, but you cannot trade combos with them unless you use them yourself. Okay. Dims has just taken out one of the best things in this game, just because crybabies on Reddit and Facebook complain about this shit. I know the worst part is they're still going to be garbage even if even after this gets taken out or nerfed. I can't wait until they realize that power creep and the pay to win players are going to fuck them up with their hybrids and androids and high Z abilities. I just cannot wait until they realize what they did to this game. Cause nerfing sidestep is not the way to go. The way to go is nerfing the damage of extended combos that is the way dims they are so stupid i mean <sighs> dims <laughs> i love this game okay i love this game i was optimistic once but then i opened my eyes and realized that this game is fucked because of the developers like <laughs> PvP is fucked. No content in this game. The login bonus is shit. Power creep is ridiculous. Okay.
Like these. <laughs> what happened to the survey we did? Huh? What happened to the survey we did a couple of months back? What have the improvements be been? Nothing. Nothing has improved since we did that survey. They basically wasted our time with that survey to make us think, oh, we're going to we're going to improve this game. No, you haven't, Dims. You just be fucking up this game since August, okay? You're on a backtrack. Alright? This game is getting boring. No one wants to PvP 30 days a month, 25-8. Okay? <laughs> now that's it for this video. I don't wanna get too I don't want this video to get too long. How many minutes are we in this video anyway? 25 minutes. Holy shit. Um, so I'm just going to end this video right here, guys. These are the problems I have with this game. The PvP, the logging bonus is stupid. The con There's no content. And the power creep in this game is ridiculous. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. And peace out.